Hello and welcome to another Friday Findings video. I'm Sandy. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I have another cool tool for you. This one is called a bale making pliers. I've heard it called different names but that's what I call it. And basically it's this rather funky looking plier. One side is just a straight shaft and this has a protective plastic sleeve on it which I'll talk about in a moment. And then the other side has three cylinders that are stepped up in sizes. So we have a 10 millimeter cylinder, a 7 millimeter, and a 5 millimeter. And you can find bale making pliers with lots of different sizes and even different shapes. Wubbers is a brand that makes a whole amazing set of pliers with unique shapes. And these are great if you are making jewelry, making your own components, and you need bigger sizes than you can get with a pair of round nose pliers. For example, my round nose pliers only goes up to four millimeters at the base of the cone, at the widest part. So if I need five millimeters, I'll use my bale making pliers. And you use these the same way you would um, any pliers that you're making shapes. You can grasp your wire and what this plastic sleeve does is really protect your work from getting marred, from getting crunched. Uh, because if you have two round surfaces meeting, well this one's slightly flattened really, but when you have the two surfaces meeting what you can get is a dent where they meet and so this plastic sleeve protects that. So you just put your wire in there, squeeze the pliers, and then rotate. So you could make a coil this way, and you just squeeze, rotate, squeeze, rotate, and keep going around. And what's interesting is that if you start at the and work your way up, I can keep I can make this coil actually longer than my barrel it'll just keep going up. But let's say, all right, I've got these coils and now I want to do something else. Now I want to add like a figure eight component on the other side, perhaps getting bigger. I could put it down to this bigger end. Oh, let's go down to the 10 millimeter end and then make a loop down there. So you can get very creative and make interesting loopy shapes with the different sizes that you have here. And you see how everything flows very nicely and is nice and smooth. And that's the result of using the pliers like these that hold it all together. And uh, because this edge, this inner edge is all on the same plane, it really helps you to keep your work nice and consistent. So if you're looking to experiment and play with wire wrapping, a pair of bale making pliers just might be for you. If you like this video, please make sure you have subscribed to my YouTube channel so you'll see more like it. You can follow me on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and on my blog. Happy creating. Bye-bye.